happy to, oh no, happy Thursday, happy Thursday, happy Thursday to your baby, yes, happy Thursday, y'all, yes, we made it another day, yes, no robbers broke in, and no fires broke out, hallelujah, yes, if this is your first time tuning in, Thank you very much for taking the time out to click on my video. Thank you very much for watching it to the end. Yes. And can I get a couple ads watched to the end? Yeah. Help your girl out with a couple of ads. Yeah. Like, share, comment, and turn that red dress, that red subscribe dress to the gray dress. Okay. Flip. Turn your hat on. Hit that bell to be notified when your girl blow another video. That's it, you guys. That's it. So today, um, I wanted to come to you. I'm excited because I finally got an email. You guys, I leave in the description my P.O. box if you want to write me. I leave my, my email address, all that. And someone reached out to me. What is this, Thursday? I think Tuesday. Yeah, and I, we've been emailing each other back, and so today I'm going to do a video on her topic, or her, her question that she asked me to talk about, and the reason why I'm doing it today, because I had to get some more information from her, so I'm kind of excited, I'm excited that I got some uh, email, okay, but the topic is, is kind of a little bit, um, I'm not going to say disturbing, but it's, 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 it's a good topic. It's something that probably a lot of us have went through or is going through. Um, make sure, oh yeah, my lights aren't. So she, um, the, the subscriber um, emailed me and said, Tracy, can you talk about um, relationships? And that's all she said. And I, I, I was so happy to see the email, but I, I emailed it right back. I said, sure, I talk about relationships all the time. I said, is there something specific that you want me to talk about? And then she said, yes. She said that um, she's ashamed of herself. And then I said, okay, that's good. But me, you know, I like to analyze and I like to dig deep. And if I'm gonna do a video on it, I want to also inject myself because you never know what she's going through. Maybe I experienced it or someone else out there is. It's billions and billions and billions and billions of people in the world. OK, so I wrote her back and I said, I need you to be a little bit more specific. OK, thank you for giving me that. But tell me about yourself. OK, I need to get in your head. I need to know exactly what it is. I need to know how you feel. I need to know your struggles with this situation. First, I need to know the situation. And then I need to know, you know, I need to, I want to, I got to dig deep so I can go. I need to get in your head. I need to get into your head. I need to know. Okay. So she said that she broke it down to me. Um. It was, it was vague, but it was a little bit more information. I had to email her again. But anyway, she was telling me that she's in a relationship. She's a heavy set woman. Um, I can't remember. Did she say they were married? They've been together for a couple of years. Okay. And um, he's very handsome. He's fit. He's very fit. Um, she, he has... Uh, I think one or two kids, they're a little older. They don't live with him, of course. Um, he got his stuff together. He works. He's, he's a good guy. Okay. Um, she's struggling with her weight. She's over. She's, she's a big girl. I asked her how big she was and she gave me her weight size. It's like 300 two something, you know, close to three. I said, okay, I can't visualize that. Because 300 people can be 300, don't look, you know, everybody carries their weight different. I need to visualize you, okay, 
And you don't need to send me no picture, nothing like that. What size do you wear? Okay. And she's in a 26. So I can visualize a 26. Okay. It's a little bit bigger than me because I'm in a 22. But still, I can visualize it. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I'm in a 2020 slash. So anyway, off of me. It's not about me. So, uh, you know, I got to throw that in there. But anyway, um, so she was saying that when they uh, are intimate, she likes the light off. Okay. Um, and it's getting to the point to where it's, it's bothering him. Okay. Because even if she won't do it in the daytime. <coughs> Excuse me. One particular time, a few times, but this one particular time, uh, she was taking a shower and he kind of came on in and got in the shower with her. And you know, that's romantic. You know, we like that. But she hurried up and reached over and grabbed her towel and in, while the water was running, because she was already in the shower, um, put the towel around her in the shower leaned over was attempting to try to turn off the light he wouldn't let her she stayed in the shower with a towel on he got upset he, he got out the shower it's becoming to the point to where it's be it's coming between them um another situation um his family um when she goes around his family they make certain comments they do certain gestures and they do little things okay that is they try not to be obvious but they it's obvious that they're making fun of her size and then they say now he's the only boy it's five of them he's the only boy his family his sisters and his mom they're not big women okay and um is it's, it's <sighs> so when she goes over there one particular time she went over there and they were having some sort of dinner or whatever and they make comments about her plate how much she eats or when she eats they all look at her and and talk under their breath and um they have a, a particular chair for her to sit in like she's going to break down the chair. Come on, these couches and stuff will hold 300 pounds. Okay. And she said that she's well proportioned. She's a big girl, but she's well proportioned. And the sisters will bring up his ex-girlfriends. They even at one, one particular time invited one of the ex-girlfriends over to the house. Um, even though he ain't tripping off the girl. He didn't show her no disrespect um, when the girl was there. Um, just giving you a little bit of what she was saying so you can get a feel of her situation. Hold on, this car drove up on parking on the side of me and they got some loud music. I want to shut my uh, sunroof so no music won't uh, come through. Hold on for a second. Okay, I'm back. So, um... She was like, I just don't know what to do. She said, I really care about him, but I'm ashamed of myself. I don't like the woman I have become as far as my physical being. She said that she's always been a big girl, but not as big as what she is now. And she turns to food for comfort, okay? Um, she tries to diet, but it's hard because she still has, ki she has kids. And then she tries to cook, you know, nice meals for him and everything. So she was like, I just don't know what to do because it's coming between between us. And I try to talk to him about his family, but he's the only boy. And um, out of all his, you know, his sisters and his mom, I hate to use this term, but he's a mama's boy. He really respects highly of what his mother's thoughts are, feelings are, and opinions are. I said to her, what I said is, for one, I don't think that he cares about his mom's opinion because he wouldn't be with you. So I asked her, I said, how did you meet him? 
Because you're so ashamed of your body and you won't show your body unless the, the lights are off. Did you meet him online? Tell me your love story. How did you meet him? She met him in person. She was at Walmart. And he approached her. She was dressed, got off, getting off work, trying to pick up some things after work. So she was looking nice. So I said, okay, so it wasn't, you don't feel, he's not catfished. You didn't meet him online. You actually met him in person. And he approached you. He got at you. And she, and she said yes. We were having conversations back and forth. So I said, for one, he likes what he sees. He approached you. I don't care if you got clothes on or not. He sees your size. He sees you're heavy. Okay. He sees you. Whatever it was about you that attracted him to you is still there. But the way you're feeling about yourself, the way that you're taking in, the way his family treats you, It's you, how you feeling, because he, he, he likes what he see. So I asked her, I said, does he treat you any different? Does he, when you guys go out, how does he treat you? When you're around his family, how does he treat you? She said, he always brings her flowers. He's always complimenting her. They even go on walks together when she be wanting to go on walks. He's really into her. So I said, bump the family. To, to protect yourself, don't even go to his family's house no more. You need to sit down and talk to him about the way you feel when you're around his family. The way the family makes you feel when you're around them. You need to sit down and talk to him. She said she has. But he's so in to his family, he's his sisters. He can he he cares about what his sisters feel and their opinion, especially his mother. I said, but you're not in a relationship with them. You're gonna you're you're gonna mess up this relationship that maybe God has sent you. This guy, he's good. He's nice to her kids. He helps the kids with the homework. I mean, he's like sent from heaven, she said. She's never had a relationship like this. She never had a man be so into her like this. And now she's insecure now. She says she's never been insecure with, with anyone before. You know, the other past relationships that she had, the men has been not up to really on her level okay they had mediocre jobs they you know one was been back for the jail you know they've been so she felt more inferior over these guys but this guy got his stuff all the way together good credit good job stuff together mentally he's he's good so now she's feeling insecure, like she's not capable of, of holding on to him and keeping him. I said, for one, he approached you. It was something about you that caught his eye. Hold on to that. Work on those things inside of you, you know, because for one, you need to stop going around his family right now. You need to cut the family off. Because you're not in a relationship with the family. You're in a relationship with him. But first it starts with you. It starts with you. You have to sit down and just analyze this whole thing. He approached you. You guys been together for a few years. And you have never had sex with him in the light. The, it has to be dark. It has to be dark. They both work, but on the weekends, when you want to get a little something during the day, she won't do it. In the morning time, she hurries up. She gets out the bed, throws on some clothes. She, she won't 
lay in the bed with him on, on the weekends because she don't want to do anything in the light. You're your worst enemy. You will be the cause. Your the issues that you're going through, or or it's in with it's within you. That's going to be the cause of the breakup, not him, not the family, not him, not no other woman that's smaller. He's with you because he loves you. He sees something in you that he likes. You will be the cause of this relationship breaking up. You need to get a grip and you need to work on you, loving you, accepting who you are and being okay with it. And that's not easy. But one good thing you have is that he cares about it. He can see your size in your clothes. He can see your size in your clothes. I'm quite sure he's seen you naked before getting dressed or whatever you can't keep hiding yourself forever but putting a towel around you in the shower what happened to you in your childhood let's go back to that were you always teased like why are you so ashamed of yourself what is it and she wrote me back and she says she don't know. She don't know. Her mom and her family always accepted it. She don't know. And I'm thinking, okay, are you watching a lot of TV? Because as a society, we are image driven. As a society, we're image driven. We are image driven as a society. You have to look a certain way. You have to have the right skin color. You have to have the right body phys physique. We are image driven. That, that is true. That's why we have anorexia. That's why we have women going to get plastic surgery so they can look a certain way, so they can fit that image. I, I, I asked her, I said, do you hate yourself? And she said, no, she's just ashamed of herself. And she doesn't feel that she is worthy to be with this man. And I'm thinking, okay, that's because you never had a good man, so to speak, or someone love you, be into you like this. You've never had it. It's new to you. Embrace it. If you're watching, and I hope you are, embrace it. Embrace yourself. He wouldn't be there if he didn't. It's not like he has to be there. He can go live with any sister he wants, his mama. He can go get his own place. He has a good job. He has good credit. He can go get his own apartment. He's there because he wants to be there. He approached you because he's seen something in you that caught his eye. Now you have to see something in you. You need to catch your own self eye. You need to see within yourself that you are worthy. You're self-sufficient. You have a job. You get up and go to work every day. You take care of your children. You keep your house clean, I hope. I'm quite sure you do. You have to look in yourself and catch your own eye because you're you're self-sabotaging for one with the eating whenever you feel in a certain type of way you run and eat you're self-sabotaging 
He seen something in you when he approached you. Now you need to see something in yourself. Find out what it is. Okay, for one, stop going to the family's house. The sisters, they ain't right. And you're showing them low, low confidence. Hold your head up. If you do end up going back over there, smile. Hold your head up, no matter how you feel inside. Never let them see you sweat. They've seen you sweat. Now they plan on it. When you go over there, don't let them see you sweat. Don't let them see that you have some kind of issue with yourself. Don't sit there with the pity party, okay, and saying, oh, I, I'm so fat, I'm so big, I'm, I, I can't do this, I can't do that. Stop doing that. If you are doing it, stop, okay? Don't do it. Don't give them any more animation. You guys know what I'm trying to say. To talk about you. You have to be confident. Confidence and self-esteem is, is, is self-taught. Get, say, give yourself some affirmations and talk to yourself every day in the mirror. But the thing is, as far as you being ashamed of yourself, if you're not happy with your size, then do something about it. Make small changes. Do something about it. But he's there with you because he loves you. And he likes what he sees. You just got to like what you see. And if you don't, make changes and do some things to like what you see. To like what you see. But yes, it is wrong how the family treats you. Yes, it is wrong that you can't sit on their couch. And you have to have a special chair to sit in. And... Yes, it's an issue that you can't talk to him about that and express yourself because when you do, he takes their side. He thinks that you're just tripping. You need to break it down to him and explain to him the things that you've seen them do. You have to go deep with it and explain to him the things that you've seen him them do and the things that they said. And then Brian inviting the ex over and she flaunting around and doing all this. That it was that was messed up. That was foul. That was totally out of pocket. Okay, so I do agree with you on that. Okay. But back to you. Work on those things. Tell yourself that you're beautiful. Tell yourself that you're worthy. Think about your accomplishments that you have made in your life. Focus on the good things that you've done. Focus on the good things about yourself. Find those good things. Write them down. Write down the things you like about yourself. And then write down the things you don't like about yourself. And I bet you the things you like about yourself, that list is way longer than the things that you don't like. Work on each of those things that you don't like. One thing at a time. Work on it. And explain to him about uh, the family. Okay. And as far as not wanting to be intimate in the daytime or in the light. Slowly get yourself out of that. Maybe do it at night, but maybe have maybe a, a dim light going where it's still kind of dark, but there's a little small dim of a light. You know, you can get those light bulbs that have color to it, to where it's not bright and it's not dark, but it's a little color. They got blue, red, yellow. They got, they got light bulbs that have color to it. Kind of ease your way 
into it. Make it something special. Put the little special light bulb in. Maybe put some roses or or something, some soft music. Kind of ease your way into light. Okay, ease your way into light. Okay, and work on you. Work on loving you. Work on accepting who you are. And remember to think about the good things that you have accomplished within yourself that will help you. That's my advice to you. Okay, but I want to to give you some reassurance that that man love you. And that he's seen something in you. That's why he approached you. Okay. He could have anybody he want to have. Okay. But he's with you. Now you need to see you. You need to catch that eye within you. I hope this helps someone out there that's going through this. Okay. And before I end, I want to remember, I want to make sure I tell you this. Stay away from the family for now. I think I said it, but just in case I didn't. Stay away from the family, okay? It's not good for you to go around his family, okay? And if you do, if there's something special, a special occasion, and you have to be there, hold your head up. Don't let them see you sweat. And if thoughts come in your mind... If they start doing stuff to you and saying things while you're there, start thinking about those good things about yourself. Talk to yourself in your mind. Girl, you know you look good. They just trying to they just trying to break me down. Talk to yourself while you're there. In your mind. You know you you know you you know you the shit. Don't let them know. They just trying to break me down. Because they got some stuff about them that they don't like about them. They trying to break me down. Talk to yourself while you're there. Build yourself up while you're there. You know, talk to yourself. Give yourself aff- affirmations in your mind. You're beautiful. Just think of it. You're beautiful. You're kind. You're wonderful. This is my man. I'm the one here with him. Think like that if you do happen to go over there. Okay, other than that, that's my advice to you. And thank you so much for for emailing me and writing me. Thank you for the conversations, the back and forth on the emails that we had. I appreciate it. Keep it coming. Thank you so much for watching my channel and and supporting me uh, in, in my YouTube journey. Okay, because I... This is something I've been wanting to do, okay? And this is my dream to uh, to do something like this, you know? And um, I thank you as well. You've helped me as well because I got some insecurity issues. I got, I, I got my class reunion coming up Friday. And I'm thinking of a way, how can I lose 50 pounds in two days, okay? I don't want to go, but I'm going. Because I didn't go to any of all the other ones. This is my 35th year. Everybody dying off. I, I have to go to to this one. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm looking. I'm feeling a certain type of way too. Because I put on weight. You know? But I have to remember. Shoot, I I'm, I'm still look good. Okay, I'm still Tracy. Okay? So I'm going to put on my best outfit. And I'm going to be, you know what I'm saying? So I, this helped me too. So anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you all for watching. And what I always say when I end my videos, hold your head up. Hold it up. Get your chest out. Okay? Hold your head up. Don't be walking around with your head all hung low, being all self-pity. Or don't walk around frown all up, twist it all up because you feel the way you feel because of the way that you're feeling. Don't take nobody else's joy. Don't steal nobody else's joy. And don't let them steal yours. Okay? 
It works both ways. It's hand in hand. Okay, keep a smile on your face regardless of what you're going through and stay sucker free. I ain't said that in a while. Okay, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.